As a young company, we're continuously investing to improve our processes and immediately after the foundation of Vinova in August 2015, we took the decision to invest in a new state-of-the-art membrane electrolysis. And this plant replaces an older unit which was based on outdated mercury technology. It was a big endeavour for our site, a big project which was executed without problems and we also managed to start up the plant ahead of schedule, which was great. The new membrane plant allows us to produce in a more sustainable way. It also reduces the energy consumption of our site. We reduce waste streams and with this new membrane technology we produce a top quality product which finds applications in very demanding industries such as the food and pharmaceutical industry. The production process of potassium hydroxide, or KOH, starts with potassium chloride, or KCL, a salt which is extracted from mines. The salt arrives by barge and truck to the site. There, water is added to turn the salt into brine. The brine goes to the purification unit, where all impurities are removed. Next, the purified brine is led to the electrolysis units. An electric current is passed through the brine solution. In the process, three separate chemical products are formed. Chlorine, liquid potassium hydroxide and hydrogen. Hydrogen is used as a fuel or raw material in other production processes on the site. Chlorine is used as an intermediate to produce PVC and other chemical products such as bleach. It is also delivered to other companies on the Tessendalo site. The potassium hydroxide formed in the electrolysis process first goes to an evaporation unit. There, water is removed, increasing the concentration from 32% to 50%. The potassium hydroxide is then stored in one of our world-scale storage facilities or transported to our customers via barge or truck. Liquid KOH can also be carbonated with CO2 to form potassium carbonate or K2CO3 another product we supply to the market. Our customers use our potassium hydroxide in numerous applications that improve our everyday life. For food production, for example to make chocolate, in agriculture, to create fertilizers or crop protection products. It can be found in personal care products such as lotions and soaps. It is used to de-ice airport runways, enabling safe air travel. Potassium hydroxide also serves as the electrolyte in alkaline batteries. And it is used in a wide range of pharmaceutical applications, contributing to our overall health and well-being. <laughs>